Bonjour à tous. Hey, it has been quite a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it seems uh, I haven't had much to talk about in the realm of travel for about a year now. Maybe a little bit sooner than that. Hi, I'm Arnie and this is Arnie Jacobson TV and we talk travel and we talk cameras and accessories. And it's so nice to have something to talk about again. Have you wondered about, okay, now we're getting vaccinated. Where can we go in our travels? Well, it's not a lot of places yet, but there are some. And I thought I would share with you a few that I have come across. So I've got a, a short list of maybe about, oh, I don't know, 12 different places here that are opening up now that people are getting vaccinated. And I thought I would go through these. Not going to take a lot, a lot of time to do this, but I thought it might be good for us to see the number of places we can go to. Um, some of them will be excluding Americans because, again, we've been having such a difficult time getting things going that is changing now but so number one on the list cyprus uh, as of march 1st in 2021 there as long as you have proof that you've been vaccinated you're going to be allowed in again with the exception of americans at this point maybe that will change uh, in the coming months we'll see um estonia this is one of our favorite places. We had such a great time in Tallinn. Oh gosh, what was that? 2018? Boy, it's been a while. Um, anyway, so uh, as long as you can present a valid uh, vaccination certificate, you're good there. Um, oh, and again, here it says that at this point, not those of us from the U.S. <sighs> what a bummer. I would really love, with, just to keep this um, kind of in your focus or on your radar, if you haven't been to Tallinn yet, you need to go. Uh, we've got a couple of really good videos from there when we were visiting there, like I said, in about 2017. So if you want to check those out, I'll put a link to that as well. Um, Georgia, this is the country of Georgia, not the, here in the U.S. Um, if you have a uh, proof of vaccination, you can go visit Georgia, and that includes U.S. citizens. How about Iceland? Um, yes, if you're from a country belonging to the European Economic Area and Switzerland, and you can prove that you've been vaccinated, you're good to go. Unfortunately, off limits to US. Let's see, where else? Lebanon, um, let's see, Americans are allowed to visit Lebanon with a COVID-19 test taken within 96 hours of arrival. So kind of you can go. Poland, once again, not U.S. citizens, but if you are um, otherwise, uh, as of December 28th, Poland introduced a mandatory 10-day self-isolation for all arrivals in the country. However, if you can prove by showing a certificate that you're vaccinated, you will be exempt from that. Again, that does, that does not include um, uh, those of us from the U.S., Romania, <laughs> golly, I was excited when I first saw this and I didn't read it all the way through. Um, since mid-January, visitors of the company, the country, not the company, have been allowed to entry without having to quarantine if they can prove they've been vaccinated. Once again, U.S. citizens are excluded from that. How about the Seychelles? If you're looking to go someplace warm, 
Foreigners from all countries are now permitted to enter the Seychelles if they have received a full dose of COVID vaccine. This must have been completed at least two weeks before arriving in the Seychelles. Need that certificate? And it doesn't seem to exclude Americans. So you could check that by going to the Seychelles uh, list, go online and see what they're saying to be sure, but it doesn't look like we are excluded. Uh, Thailand. I have a stepson there and it's, I don't get the best reports from there, so I don't know that I'd want to visit. Um, if you're dying to go, you'll be pleased to know that the country's government is planning on allowing non-Thai travelers who have been vaccinated into the country. This would mean those arriving with proof of a COVID-19 vaccine can uh, will be exempted from their 16-day quarantine. Uh, Americans are allowed into Thailand, but they must apply for a special visa, which you can get through the Thai Embassy in Washington, D.C. Um, and that looks, oh, Phuket. According to Bloomberg, the Phuket Chamber of Commerce and the Phuket Tourist Association are planning to pool funds and vaccinate 70% of Phuket Islanders over the age of 18. If that's successful, that will mean that those of vaccinated arrivals will no longer need to adhere to a 14-day quarantine that's currently in place. And that covers it for now. So, a little bit of good news, a ray of sunshine, I guess you'd say, but all in all, not all that great if you were a citizen of the U.S. Thought I was going to be able to share with you just a little bit better news, but a little bit of ray, a little ray of sunshine is better than none, right? That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and hopefully we'll have more for you as things improve. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in a future one. And if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much.